Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, basic thermodynamic class. Uh, with continuation of module 1, we are going to discuss about uh, the types of process. How do you know that uh, what is mean by state, path of process, and process? So, here, so how you are going to identify the process? So, as a matter of uh, rule, we allow one of the properties to remain a constant during a process and uh, consider a many process as we can uh, with different property kept constant during each of the uh, term okay and complete the cycle by regaining the initial state so these are all the process uh, requirement requirement so suppose example if you want to keep temperature as a constant uh, other variable are uh, very only keeping temperature constant it becomes a isothermal process so isobaric means there is no change in pressure the pressure remains same only when well, volume is changing such a process we call it as isobaric pressure process and isochoric means there is no change in volume as there is no change in volume there is no work we can we cannot we can we cannot expect so isochoric process so volume constant and isentropic process in this case entropy remains constant so isenthalpic process it is also called as throttling process there is no change in enthalpy before and after the process is remains same that is h1 is equal to h2 and similarly for the isotropy if the concentration are same that is we called as isotropic process and next one is adiabatic in this condition there is no heat addition or removal uh, is taking place such a process we called as adiabatic process so so in detail uh, we have to study in the further topics so only the, you must remember that uh, uh, which term if you keep constant and which process will be uh, forms that you should keep it in mind okay so next one is uh, quasi static process so this process can be re, um, restrained or understand uh, we need uh, uh, some process in practice so quasi static process is one in which the deviation from thermodynamics equilibrium to infinitesimally small so okay so all the states of the system passes through this uh, there are equilibrium state so what's the, what is mean quasi means equilibrium state so suppose if you take a, a piston cylinder arrangement uh, they split up with uh, different uh, loads so if you remove uh, one by one so uh, then uh, the gas will expand uh, uh, in a balanced mode and it will be reach the final state uh, for instead of uh, uh, removing the uh, weights uh, one by one if you remove suddenly what happen so the gas will be uh, in balanced uh, expansion and uh, it is not in equilibrium even though if you take process but it is not in thermodynamic process okay this is how uh, we can understand the quasi static process okay example uh, if we remove the weights slowly one by one the pressure of the gas will displace the piston gradually it is called quasi static on the other hand if we remove the, all the weights at once uh, the piston will be kicked up by the gas pressure so that we called as uh, again it is a quasi uh, we cannot say it is quasi and it can don't consider that its work is done because it is not uh, in a sustained manner okay for example the person is climbs down a ladder from roof to ground it is a quasi process but the one of one of the other hand uh, he jumps from the floor to ground uh, that uh, we cannot say it is an quasi static process this is how the quasi static process we are going to understand and both the cases system have undergone change of state so equilibrium state means a uh, system is said to be in equilibrium if it is properties will not change without some uh, per um, perceivable effect in the equilibrium so this is generally requires in all properties to be uniform throughout the system okay uh, there are uh, three types of uh, system uh, equilibrium state uh, mechanical thermal 
and chemical equilibrium okay so there is if the system is said to be in equilibrium so for mechanical pressure should be uh, in a equilibrium position and potential for electrical equilibrium for concentration species for species equilibrium for temperature thermal equilibrium but uh, if overall if you want to uh, define what the thermal equilibrium or uh, equilibrium thermodynamic equilibrium uh, no interaction between them only there are so many uh, equilibrium are there so that should all together a system in a thermodynamic equilibrium does not deliver any of the uh, source okay next one is zeroth law of thermodynamics so first of all understand what is meant by temperature so temperature is a property of a system which determines the degree of hotness or coldness of a body suppose we human we can able to sense so by sense of uh, human effort uh, so we can identify whether the body is hot or cold okay for example a hot cup of tea is at higher temperature than the black of ice so on the other hand ice is hotter than liquid hydrogen so likewise we are going to compare with the uh, by using a sense of uh, human uh, we identify the whether it is hot or cold okay that is what it is called temperature this thermodynamic temperature scale is under evaluation uh, what we have to know empirical scale so right now uh, we have two system a and b okay to understand the zeroth law thermodynamics suppose we have a state a and state b are in thermal equilibrium with the third system say c it separately that is a and c are in thermal equilibrium if p and c are in equ thermal equilibrium automatically then they are all are in thermal equilibrium themselves so that is a and b will be in a thermal equilibrium okay example if you take a palm of uh, right hand and left hand okay so temperature of a body is equilibrium with the temperature of body c and the side other side if the body b also in equilibrium so simultaneously the all are in equilibrium thermal equilibrium okay now uh, we will discuss about uh, some temperature uh, concepts related to the thermodynamics okay uh, let us uh, say uh, ta tb and tc are the temperatures uh, for abc respectively and a and c are in equilibrium and b and c are in thermal equilibrium and uh, consequently the zeroth law is a and b will also be in equilibrium so that is t is equal to ta is equal to tb and tb is equal to tc this is how the logic is going to work so all temperature measurements are based on this law only so that is zeroth law of thermodynamics thanks for watching